Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these cool looking screens which actually work. And fortunately, my voice is still very weak. So I'm using these voice again. Here you saw what we are trying to do today. We start with making this type of screens. These are located at the entrance of each ride and show the waiting time for the guests. This is very simple because it's just picture. To create this picture, I used a video editing app. Then I always only had to copy everything and change the text and the small circles, which show the area of the attractions is just a picture from the internet. There are also this type of screens, which show when the next show is but it works the same at the others. And of course the picture has to be in scale one to one. And after you created the picture, you just have to do a screenshot of it and paste it into the game. How this works I will show you now. If you already know it just skip that part. And fortunately this is German now. But it works the same in every language. First you have to go on the side create.roblox.com and then click on dashboard. Then on this thing, then decals. Then you see here are already many images I uploaded to Roblox. Then you have to click on upload and select an image. Now give it a random name and upload it. Here is the picture now. Then we have to copy the ID and paste it in Theme Park Tycoon 2. And please don't ask why I'm here in the bushes. Now, we do these screens. I created the picture in Word but I'll show you the IDs at the end of the video. And how to build the screens I show you now. You can also use the flags. But there you can only use until 3 different images at one screen. Before you upload the images to Roblox, be sure to rotate the picture 90 degrees before. And consider that the normal panel is thinner than the flag when you create the image. The first thing we have to do is to place the panels. Place it somewhere and rotate it 90 degrees to the right. Then go a bit higher with it like this. Now we have to place three more panels behind this one. But only with tiny distance, that's very important. Then we have to take this sequencer and also place it somewhere. My advice is to build it underground, there it doesn't disturb. Now set all panels except the last one to transparent. Now we have to click on the first panel and paste it into the sequencer. Do this again with the second and the third panel. Don't add the fourth panel to the sequencer. Okay, I'm done. Now it should look like this. And if you click play you can see it already works. But we want that the images are changing the whole time. And we don't want to always activate the sequencer by ourselves. The solution for this problem is a timer.
Place it next to the sequencer and click on it. Then select periodic activation and change the time. When to activate to 20 seconds. This means on a loop goes 20 seconds long and then it restarts automatically. At last I show you how Yoi can build a frame for the screen. First we need a bar. Of course the whole construction only works with the Disable Collisions Game Pass. Then change the material to metal and the color to this gray. If you want you can also select a different color or material. Now place it like in the video. Then take this bar, preferably with the same color and the same material and place it at both sides of the screen. Next you put the same bar on the top of the screen, and you're already done. If you want to place the panel many times at your park, you can also use the new update to duplicate the whole panels inclusive the timer and the sequencer. That's it already. I hope you understood how to build these screens and if you did I'd be happy if you liked the video. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and here are the IDs.